Hello everyone, I am Sushma. I am working as assistant professor and I have done M Pharmacy and also previously I have worked as a drug safety associator and even in Canada I have, I have worked as a quality controller in Tava Pharmaceuticals and today I am here to help you uh, help the students regarding the pharmacist exam. We all know that recently Telangana government has released about 633 post of pharmacist pharmacist post. So regarding this, I'm here to help the students. So as coming to the syllabus, they have given us about uh, the 10 units. Okay, so coming to the first units, it's about the introduction of pharmacopias with special special reference to the IP. So maximum here, uh, they will cover the questions about the you know about the Indian pharmacopoeia like the year of edition. Uh, when it is published and the editions okay and uh, more uh, weightage will be in this sutics as we can see this all are about sutics topics like the unit operations prescriptions metrology posology and manufacturing and evaluation of various doses forms so maximum the more we can expect more questions from this sutics uh, topic and also coming to the next topic see second unit anatomy and physiology this is also uh, very easy like we have all the systems like skeletal system, cardiovascular system, hair and uh, respiratory systems. Here simply we can just write about, uh, we can just remember all the, uh, s revise all the systems and how they work. And uh, next thing is unit three, concept of health, concept of disease and natural uh, and health. This is just we can uh, read the diploma level books because we can, uh, I think, uh, we don't get much depth questions from the third unit we can just refer all the diploma books that are available and uh, coming to fourth unit they have given the chemistry or inorganic organic and also in the medicinal chemistry so we can see the medicinal chemistry also here so we can uh, expect uh, in-depth questions so we have to prepare a lot for the you know the structures and all for medicinal chemistry and organic chemistry also here coming to the fifth unit so pharmacology this is also the important uh, topic where we can ex expect many plenty of questions the weightage is more for the pharmacology as we know and uh, sutics and college these are the two important top topics where we have to concentrate a lot see all the uh, narcotic analgesics analgesics anticonvulsants all these antihypertics local anesthetic and uh, expectorians all this we have to uh, read the mechanism of actions adverse effects and uh, uses everything every classification we have to note down uh, in a book simply the classifications and their adverse effects mechanism of action and uses so simply these four things we need to remember for all the all the topics here and this is also same pharmacology of uh, drugs you need five and six are uh, important we need to work it work on it a lot and uh, coming to unit 7 here uh, yeah hospital pharmacy this is, is very easy actually we can just go through the books available in diploma level okay symptoms and treatments of uh, organophosphorus all this we need to just uh, once go through the uh, in like in diploma level books coming to unit 8 this is also adulteration drug evaluation and pharmacopical standards and um, Cognacy, yeah, we need to learn about the cognacy here. Everything, synonyms, uh, names, everything we need to get write down in a paper, then we can revise it during the exams. See, they have clearly given only few. So, coming to chapter 9th, here uh, they have given the biological value deficiency. This is related about the uh, metabolism of carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, vitamins. So, we can just go through biochemistry books, all this. Uh, in uh, carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, vitamins, and its therapeutic therapeutics of introduction to pathology of uh, blood and urine. So, so this is also simple. And coming to unit tenth, this is important. Pharmacy Act 1948. They have given. They will be asking about different acts, and uh, you know in. Uh, Competitive exams different, definitely this acts play a crucial role. They'll be asking a lot of questions from here. Latest drug action, latest uh, order in force, poison act, medicinal and toilet preparations act, everything, and uh, medical ter termination of pregnancy act 1971. So they have mentioned four, and we can concentrate on these four and learn all the acts. Okay, now we will discuss about um, pharmacopoeia. So in pharmacopoeia, they have just uh, given the introduction of pharmacopoeia and also 
most mostly they asked about only Indian pharmacopoeia IPC so we can just concentrate on only Indian uh, pharmacopoeia so in this pharmacopoeia so just I want to give a brief interaction about pharmacopoeia so the word pharmacopoeia itself just tells us about the pharmacon means the drug and pia means to make so actually this is a Greek word and in exam they may ask you about the what is meant by pharmacon what is the meant by pia so that's uh, pharmacon means it's a drug and pia means it's to make so basically the pharmacopoeia it's a book referral book how to prepare the drugs how to prepare how to uh, how to conduct the test and uh, you know how to determine the dosage form standards of purity everything everything will be referred through the standard books it has a standard guidelines how how a drug should be prepared and released in the uh, market okay so all uh, everyone will be following this updated versions of pharmacopias and they will refer this pharmacopial books and they will prepare all the drugs that should be uh, distributed in the market so mainly this pharmacopia books are uh, essential for why this pharmacopoeia books are essential for, for setting standard standards because everyone should follow the particular standards that are uh, prescribed in the book and the guidelines or whatever we call the guidelines that are in the pharmacopoeia book and further the uh, uh, medicines are prepared the drugs are prepared they define the qualitative qualitative and quantitative standards for drugs okay ensure uniformity across different manufactured means we have plenty of manufacturers in our india like one manufacturer may prepare the something else and the other manufacturer may prepare something else so it should so the uh, obviously the output will be different so they all the manufacturers will follow this pharmaco this pharmacopoeial guidelines so they will they will produce the same quality of standard uh, drugs and this is uh, this all obviously leads to public health protection so regulatory authority they serve as a difference for government and health authorities to regulate pharmaceutical and enforce drug laws so by following the, all the gu guidelines follow the regulatory authorities and enforce for the drug uh, laws okay these are just for your uh, knowledge what the book contains okay and majorly the pharmacopias are like uh, USP everyone knows that United States of Pharmacopoeia USC that is used in United States BP British Pharmacopoeia that is used in uh, uh, UK and uh, several uh, Commonwealth countries and Japan EP is uh, around across European nations and Japan is used in Japan and I, IP that is Indian Pharmacopoeia that is used in India and we have given the syllabus only about the IP so we need to concentrate here in IP okay so IP is a standard book for the drug manufacturations which has the different monographs monographs means nothing but it's the brief description how a drug should be manufactured uh, in the market in, and, uh, and released in the market okay so the ip provides essential standards to the quality and purity of drugs aiming to ensure the availability of safe and effective pharmace pharmaceuticals in indian market so this is the table where uh, very important table maximum you will be getting questions uh, from this table only because they will be asking questions uh, in uh, uh, in which year what edition is taken and what are the uh, key features they have added in the uh, those year publications okay so let's uh, let's see the first edition first edition was published in the year 1955 and under the chairmanship of dr b n ghosh and they will be asking even the names under which uh, under whose chairmanship particular edition is published and in which year so you, you need to rem, uh, remember all these years names and the edition okay and also sometimes they'll be asking you in which edition uh, what they have added the point key key point okay so let let us see here the edition first edition dr b n ghosh under the chairmanship of dr b n ghosh in 1955 first edition of ip it's based on uh, british pharmacopoeia and united states pharmacopoeia with adaptations for indian conditions so they have taken uh, these pharmacopoeias and they have made some uh, uh, different adaptations and they have uh, used in here in 1955 okay and second edition dr b mukherjee in 1966 it's about Ayurveda, Hinani and Siddha uh, drugs. Okay. And third edition, it is published uh, in 1895 under the chairmanship of Dr. Nityanand. So here they have covered antibiotics, biological products, vaccines, testing for sterility. So they'll be asking like uh, vaccines and testing for sterility in which year edition book uh, in which year they have published. 
so we have to they will be giving options like 1985 1966 1955 so we have to write like 1985